context here. For nearly five years, I've been dealing with movement and biting on my skin and well, I've, I've been continually dismissed saying, hey, it's all in your head. So this was uh, taken, uh, I shot, shot this uh, back in um, March of 2023 with using a digital microscope. And um, I felt, um, you know, uh, I, I was prepared. I, I had a clean glass jar filled partly with water and, um, and, and then I had the microscope sitting there prepared to record anything that might be there and say, hey, right, I need to show the organic cause for what's, what I feel on my skin, right? So, um, so I, I felt it on my cheek. I, took, I was wearing a, a nitrile glove on my right hand and it was on my right cheek where I felt it. So I rubbed my cheek, I flick it towards the jar a couple of times and then I start recording. Well, um, this is the result, and you will see uh, as I follow up this um, like filament structure that's like a worm, that's transparent, you'll notice, um, and, and it um, uses its digestive tract, and so I, I pan up following um, its digestive tract, and then um, about seven seconds and 13 seconds into the video, uh, you'll see even more pronounced use of its digestive tract. So, um, I would love to get some feedback on this, but let's go ahead and watch. So now we pan back out, right? So you can see this thing just swaying in the water. I don't know if the thing down at the bottom is like an egg sac or what, or I don't know if it's a piece of skin or something bodily off of me that it's feeding on. I don't really know. But I, I would absolutely love some feedback from some experts, microbiologists, parasitologists, whoever you are out there who might know what's going on here.